Hey guys, I'm on my way to Gas Axe Chop Shop with Mr. Tim Dixon. And uh, today is the day I'm going to be painting underneath my 1978 Chevy C10 truck that goes by the name of Billy James. My wife has bought me this respirator. And I've took a couple of little white, you know, respirator things too, like you wear around if you got allergies or mowing or something. Anyway, uh, I'm anxious to get this done. It's supposed to be like 93 today. And uh, Tim was kind enough to let me use his lift. So I'm going to try to hurry this procedure up. I'll show you what it looks like when I get there. Hang on. We've had a lot of rain, ain't we? Look at all them tadpoles in there. Hundreds of them. I'm at Gas X Chop Shop. If I didn't tell you already, Tim has his Chevy powered V8 Porsche in here uh, doing something to it. I'm not really sure. I'm here to work on this. My 1978 Chevy C10 truck goes by the name of Billy James. What I'm doing today uh, see all that spray foam that was in this truck what I'm doing today is I'm painting underneath this truck the best that I can Tim Dixon you talk about a great guy he is uh, he is letting me have a few hours to work just painting the frame I'm just painting everything I'm not trying to cover anything up and if anybody winds up at this truck later down the road, uh, you can see exactly what you're getting. But, uh, like I said, I'm not trying to hide anything on this truck. Tim has fixed everything on it that needs to be welded, new floors, you know, everything that needs to be done. So, uh... What I'm going to do is just maybe get a rag and wipe over some of this stuff and just do the best that I can and just kind of paint it where it looks where it looks kind of decent. You don't I don't get this opportunity too much and Tim's nice enough to let me do this today, so I'm not going to have time to do a bunch of scraping. I'm not going to have time I'll probably get people making comments. I hope I don't, but some saying, you know, you should have done this, should have done that. Well, I don't have a lift, and I'm at the mercy of someone that, that does have one that I can use. So I'm going to take advantage of it and do the best I can with what little time that I have. So I'll tell you more about this stuff right here later. Uh, the, I'll tell you real quick. The brake calipers that came off the wrecked parts truck, which is... That one was uh, locked up. They wouldn't work. The wheels wouldn't turn. So had to get new brake calipers. And I'm waiting on two fittings now for the radiator for the transmission. I'm supposed to get them tomorrow. So anyway, I need to kind of hush up. I just wanted to show you that underneath the truck, it's not too bad. So I'm going to get at it. I just, I, I was kind of wanting to show you before and after. So if someone else, one of these days, wants Billy James, uh, they'll know exactly what's been done to it. New Rockers, Tim's patched the cab corners. You know, I think it might be a pretty decent truck, but I gotta tell you, this one right here has been fighting Tim. It's been fighting everybody the whole way just, just to try to get it up and running. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't I don't mean to make it real long, but if I don't do these videos like I'm doing now, then the next person, you know, might not know and I might forget what all I have done and that Tim's done to it. So I'm going to try to, like I said, do the best we can with what we got. I just want it to look decent. It's never going to be a show truck. It's not going to make them auctions. It's not going to Barrett Jackson. It's just going to be a 
patina style truck so if I can just kind of make the underneath look decent I'll be really really pleased so I'll hush up and uh, I'll get at it and I'll show you what I get done in just a few minutes okay guys it's me surprise surprise Okay, guys, I'm still going at it. I guess I've been doing this two or three hours. But uh, there's a lot of things to cover under here. Just when you think, I mean, I still got a long way to go. But uh, <clears throat> I had this mask on too. I probably sound funny. But anyway, I'm doing the best I can with it. Uh, I'm down to this. I was using Krylon, but I went to Tractor Supply. And I got every can they had of this... Uh, flat black enamel oh. let's see how many cans have I used two four six eight ten twelve I think I've used I think I've used 13 cans I hope you can hear me over this fan but uh and I'll get a flashlight when I get done and see what all I have missed like I said I'm not trying to make it perfect it's never going to Barrett Jackson it's not going to make them auctions, and I'm not trying to mislead anybody. But uh, I want to give a big old, once again, a big old hats off to Tim Dixon here at Gas Axe Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee. You can find him on Facebook, uh, Gas Axe Chop Shop, A-X-E is how you spell gas, uh, axe, sorry. I guess you can tell I'm getting tired. Anyway, to be a welding shop, and I mean, I'm holding up his rack. So when somebody, somebody must really like you to let them, let you be able to use the rack just to do spray painting. And I, like I said, I'm going as fast as I can. Should I have gotten a wire brush and stuff? Probably, but I don't have time. I'm just going to make it look like I do on my other trucks the best that I can. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, it, everything is looking pretty good, but it just takes a long time to do all this and you know it, in the blink of an eye you've used up another can or it seems that way so I'm covering up all the welding that he has done putting floor pans and all that stuff in it I still have to do I've got the wheel wells as high as I can I'll have to let Tim lower the lift here in a few minutes if I ever get done spray up in the wheel wells and then I've got to spray in the cab uh, the the, the new uh, floor pan so we can put the carpet and the seat in so I'm going to have to get on it but I, I just wanted to show you what it did look like and like I said could I have done better? yeah but like I said I've been doing this 2 or 3 hours and I still got a long way to go and to be able to use a rack I mean I'm just tickled to death to be able to, be able to do this So, and I'm just trying to make it look decent if somebody's really interested in the truck, one of these days I will show them, I'll tell them to look at all the videos, like I do every truck that I wind up selling, I always tell people, I don't want to mislead you, please look at all the videos that I have made, see what I have done to it, see what Tim and Corey and BT have done, and uh, you know, it's, you know, you can make your own decisions, but so far, everybody that has bought one from me, not that I really advertise to sell one, but when I do, everybody seems to be happy with them. So that's, you know, that's the way it's supposed to be in life. Be truthful. So that, that's what I'm trying to do here. I, I got a lot to, to go back over, but I'll have to get one of Tim's lights to see what all I have missed. But I'm going to go as fast as I can. I hope y'all can see a difference. I'll show you when I get done. Hopefully... It'll be sometime really quick. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, Tim has lowered this truck down. I'm doing the wheel wells. The best that I can. Kind of hard to do this with one hand, but... 
got a flashlight. I, I, I've got to do all of this. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, guys, it's probably best if I don't even shine the light on it because it's not dry. I'm using a flat black, but, well, some of it's already drying, but it looks much better. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not after perfection. I'm just after making it look decent. And this old truck here has been treated pretty rough. Uh, Tim Dixon knows the guy that used to own this truck and it was treated pretty badly so this one probably won't take as long because this is that new wheel well so I'm going to get at it and I'll get with you in a minute okay I've got as much of the underneath as I can get done the best that I can got the wheel wells done the best that I can like I said I'm I'm at gas axe chop shop and Tim Dixon makes his living welding so I mean when I tie up the lift I'm I'm tying up his livelihood so I try to go as fast as I can but I'm awful proud to have him for a friend Anyway, I forgot to bring the flashlight with me, but now I got to do the insides of the floor. So I'm going to ask Tim to help me set this truck down and uh, I'll get on it and I'll show you what it looks like. Hang on. Ah, uh, my camera messed up. I don't know what I said or where I stopped that, but I'm going to do this side first, then I'll go on the other side and we'll see what it looks like. Hang on. Okay, guys. I have uh, painted this part in here white with some cheap white paint that doesn't have to match. And I, I'll go over it again here in a minute. I got this rust oleum, stop rust. I sprayed it all in the door uh, floor pans. I've also done my rockers. I'll color match them best I can when I get home. So I'm gonna let this dry for just a few minutes and then I'm gonna paint it white. But carpet, carpet's going to be in this truck, red carpet, so you're never going to see this anyway. But if somebody else does wind up with this truck, I will, uh, I mean, they'll know what, what's been done to it. So I'm doing the best I can with it. So I'll get back with you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I've got the white painted over the Rust-Oleum black. So it's actually got the first coat of paint from the factory for the, floor, the new floor pans. I painted it again with Rust-Oleum, stops rust, and then I kind of painted it white just to, I don't know, just for my satisfaction. Nobody will never see it anyway, but just knowing that it's white, the same as the truck, or pretty close, is good enough. So done the best I could on it. And I'm going to leave it at that. So it's, now it's going to be time to put some carpet in it and, uh, you know, the seat. And got to remember to change these seat belts from blue to red off that wrecked truck. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to call it for today. I've been painting for like four or five hours, at least four hours non-stop other than to get a drink of water and I'm starting to get pretty give out so anyway appreciate you watching the video I'll tell you more later on in the day see you in a bit okay guys I'm on my way back home from gas X chop shop with Tim Dixon uh, I guess I've been over there probably I'm gonna say Right at five hours, I guess. Four and a half, five hours. Got a whole bunch of paint cans I got to throw away. When I, when I get home, uh, just for curiosity, I'll count and see how many empty paint cans I actually used. And you can make a guess right now how many. I'm going to say, 
and I haven't counted except that one time that y'all all seen so I think that was 12 or 13 so I'm gonna guess I'll guess 18 okay y'all make your guesses right now when I get home I'll count them and we'll see anyway I just want to thank you for watching the video I uh, like I said I hope there's nobody gonna say well you should have done this or should have done that well like I said I I tied up Tim's uh, lift, and he makes most of his money off that lift. I mean, doing exhaust or transmission, you know, just whatever. So he was kind enough to let me use it. So once again, hats off to Tim Dixon. He, he's a really good guy, really good friend. If you got him for a friend, you've got something. Anyway, uh... I'm just proud to get this over with. I just need to get home and get me a good shower and get all this paint spray stuff off of me. I don't know what this guy's doing, but I don't know. Okay, I got around him. Anyway, uh, I was just trying to make everything look decent. That's all I'm doing, just look decent. And to me, it looks better than it did much better than it did so you know that's that's my take on it so before I start getting a bunch of criticism if I had my own lift or something uh, you know I, I wouldn't mind to take the time to do it but as soon as I left just a few minutes ago while Tim closed up shop so he was kind of waiting on me to get done and I was going as fast as I could so he's a good friend Anyway, when I get home, we'll count cans. That, that'd give you something to look forward to. I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, guys, I made it back home just fine in this little S10 Ranger. 93 Ford S10 Ranger. I drove it because I hadn't drove it in a long time. and has good AC and all that, so need to be driven along with the other things. I was going to drive one of the old trucks like sky or something but we've had so much rain i bet it's rained for 10 or 12 days every day sometimes all day just other days you know it's a shower and then stop and the sun comes out then shower and the grass is growing probably can't hear me because my grass is growing so fast i know that was uncalled for wasn't it okay i'm home and getting back to what i was talking about a minute ago uh how many cans did i use if i remember right i said 18. now's the time to place your bets on how many cans you think i used here we go these three are empty see these are these are full so these wait a minute that's got one in a little bit in it so i'll keep it empty empty Two empty ones, excuse me, two empty ones here and an empty water bottle. So, two, three, five, seven. That's got a little bit. I'll say six, just to be fair, because it's not empty. Six. These are empty. So let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's do this again. Sorry, y'all. I guess I guess you probably noticed I'm a little bit tired. Okay, six over here in that bike. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I used uh, sixteen cans, and part of another one. That that that's that rustoleum I used in the floorboard, and then part of another one. So sixteen cans. I missed it by two, 
if I'd have counted those that had been used, it'd have been 18, but it's, it's not fair because I said empty cans. So I used 16 cans and it took me probably four and a half, five hours. And I'm telling you, all I done was paint. I didn't eat anything. I drank a bottle of water because my wife called and she said, you sound like you're about to get dehydrated. And I said, Huh, maybe I am, so I drank that bottle of water that you seen. So that's all I've had uh, all day. So I try not to eat a whole lot. I'm trying to lose weight. Oh, let me ask you this question. Check me out. I don't know what I I don't know what I look like, by the way. Here, you can hold it. Turn it around. Uh, I asked Tim Dixon. <laughs> don't get a close up like that. <laughs> I asked Tim Dixon at Gas Sax Chop Shop uh, when I was leaving. I said, uh, Tim, I said, do I look like a raccoon? He said, why no? And I said, uh, would you tell me if I did? And he said, no. <laughs> so he doesn't have any mirrors in his uh, garage as far as I know. So whatever I look like is how I look. But that, that mask I had on that my wife got respirator. me. Respirator. Respirator. Mrs. P.I.B. got me. Really saved me because when I... I've done this on several trucks and normally it takes like three or four or five days seems like for my lungs to kind of clear out. You don't think you're breathing it in, but you are. And uh, I can feel it in my lungs when I do that. So my suggestion is... Go to don't, Harbor Freight and buy one of those respirators. Yeah, go to Harbor Freight and buy one of those... Arbor? Huh? Harbor or Arbor? Whatever you said. Harbor. Whatever it is. I'm married, <laughs> so whatever I say, I'm wrong. No, that, that's not. how you get along. Whatever she said, go to whatever she said and get you one of those uh, respirators. respirators. It really comes in handy. It's kind of a little bit bulky, but after a few minutes, you get used to it. So you're good. I appreciate y'all watching, and I thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel if you would. Of course, you're watching Primer is Best. And then I have a second YouTube channel called um, Man on a Budget. I'm also on Instagram. Primer is best and man on a budget one and i'm on facebook Primer is best let me know what you think i'm doing doing the best i can with what i got so and uh, one more time i know y'all started hearing me say this big old shout out to tim dixon for being so kind to me it's hard to find good friends i i i'm really blessed with some really really good friends and tim is one of them so check out tim gas x chop shop on facebook and uh and this instagram too Oh, and Instagram, yeah. Why hadn't I been saying that? Instagram, Gas Axe Chop Shop. A-X-E is Axe. Gas Axe Chop Shop. Also, check out my other buddy, uh, GM1038. That's Brian. Appreciate if you check those two guys out. They they don't live real far from me, so appreciate if you check them out. And uh, y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see y'all later.